Vitamin C is a very important molecule, and Linus Pauling and Cameron in the 70s brought it to the forefront, and mainly with cancer. Uh, vitamin C is also used alternatively in treating Lyme's disease. Uh, vitamin C can be used IV and orally. However, when you're dealing with situations where you need a very high dose, you need IV vitamin C. Now, lots of patients ask, well, how does vitamin C help cancer? Well, number one, and Dr. Linus Pauling in his books said, you should not rely on just vitamin C when dealing with cancer. You cannot do that. That is a big mistake. I think it is an adjunct. In fact, a Sinide School of Medicine just published that vitamin C enhances the efficacy of one of the chemotherapeutic drugs, and that was Pacotaxel. So vitamin C is showing some efficacy in straight mainstream medicine. High dose vitamin C, you would consider, I think, just generalizing over 15 grams. Again, that's a generalization. Actually acts by being a pro-oxidant. It causes iron in the cancer cell to oxidize from plus two to plus three. Iron does not have an enzyme called catalase, which converts that back to plus two, and an oxidant can kill the cell from within. So vitamin C is a pro-oxidant, causes free radicals, and cancer cells don't have antioxidants, and therefore they die. I enhance vitamin C with various things to make that metabolic reaction occur, such as giving a touch of IV iron along with it, and there's an herb that also has been published to enhance vitamin C's cancer-killing ability 22%. Uh, and we also include that with insulin potentiation therapy, so we even target the cancer cells more so, getting them specifically the, the vitamin C into the cancer cell. And we also use DMSO, which also drives things into the body. But again, you should not just rely on vitamin C to kill cancer or treat Lyme's disease. They're both quite beastly and need many different things to kill and help the body kill and survive both things. They're tough little diseases, if you will. So vitamin C, I feel, just like Linus Pauling, is an adjunct. It has its role. It does help but should you be used as an adjunct, not solely, and be used by a practitioner that has experience with it. And again, there are things that can be used with it that enhance its efficacy as well. Uh, I think we'll talk about other supplements in the future and post them on the website as well.